Our first guest is a Tony and Emmy Award winning actor and the host of The Late Late Show. Please welcome my friend, James Corden. Hey, how are you? Hi, pal. How are you doing? I'm are you well? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well. I feel like I should apologize. It was because Andy was texting me. He always, oh. he always texts me during your monologue. He just, no, some no. of the stuff that he, he, we talk a lot about, you know, sports and that's, I, I didn't always know. I thought he was joking when he did that. Yeah. So, yeah. but it really is every show. Uh, during the monologue, that's when he does it? Yeah. <laughs> then what? I'll text him back during my monologue and it's, uh, you know, oh. it's just what, oh. yeah. I hope, yeah. I hope you have a job for me, James. <laughs> Do you have anybody like that, James, on your, on your staff that you find doesn't pay attention during uh, the time you're on stage? Are you joking? It's every single person who works here. No, I was just there a few weeks ago. Everyone is hanging on your every word. Everyone adores you and everyone is, is there and supporting you. Well, yes, you think that and then you remember that, ah, oh, yeah, no, they're all being paid to, to be here. So yeah. sometimes I'll think I'm really funny and then I'll realize I'm not. I even have buttons. Have you seen this? I have buttons for if I don't, if the crew don't laugh, it's, I've got it all sorted out. You need to get one of these. So if I tell a joke and no one laughs, I just go. Yep. I, I have one, but they took it away from me because I was cheating. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey, the last time you were on, uh, you were doing a, a show uh, that, actually, your show from the garage. Um, yeah. Is it all cleaned out now, or is it ready to go back into production again? No, we've finally taken it down. But it, that really only happened in the last 10 days, maybe, no, maybe three weeks ago, we, we took everything down. So it was really in there for quite a long time, to the point where I'd actually even forgotten that it was there, which it's quite embarrassing if, You've got a sort of makeshift television studio, but with pictures. It was pictures of me all over the walls with like, you know, Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga and stuff. And I forgot it was there until like an Amazon delivery arrived at the house. And, uh, and I said, I said oh, I'll, open the, I'll open the garage door and I'll meet you there, you know, on the intercom <laughs> thing. So I had forgotten that this was in the garage. So the garage door opens. I'm waiting in the, in the garage with like pictures of me everywhere. And I could tell the guy was thinking, this man has lost his mind. I don't think he knew I had a TV show. I don't think he'd ever seen me before. He just thought I was an absolute weirdo with photos of myself all around my garage. It was, yeah, it was, and it was then that I thought, we need to pack this away now. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Um, Hey, now, you know, the one thing that we're all looking forward to is next season, hopefully having an audience, which, you know, uh, but you've got to be looking forward to carpool karaoke because you haven't been able to do that. When, when do you, uh, do you have an idea of when you can do that again? I don't know, really. Uh, we wonder when someone will tell us when it's okay. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful for, you know, the end of summer or, or autumn time that we'd be able to, do it again. There's, there's a, there's a, it feels like there's a whole raft of artists that we are desperate to do it with that, that uh, you know, have had the most incredible last few years or, or whatever. But I don't know. We seem to work in the strictest building in maybe on Earth. So <laughs> Mike, our stage manager, is nodding as I do this. He's going, yes, we do. So I hope, I hope so much that we'll be able to do it before the end of the year. I, I hope. You know? Yeah. I don't know. You've had so many people. Tell everybody what happened when you had Stevie Wonder uh, on a few years ago. Well, Stevie Wonder was, I think, a real turning point for that segment on our show. Like, because it was incredibly moving, and we came up with this idea that, and I didn't tell my wife, and we thought maybe there'll be fun if, uh, if, if, if Stevie would call Julia, my wife, and sing. I just called to say James loves you and I didn't tell her that he was going to call and uh, he did and what's on TV is really moving. I couldn't help but be overwhelmed with it. I just, was so much of my life I just think if this was an auction prize, you know, this would go for millions of dollars. Stevie Wonder's going to call your wife and sing I just called to say James loves you, you know? I. I I don't know what I've done to deserve so many memories. What I didn't know is when I got home, my wife, Julia, was um, 
actually in a bathroom stall uh, at a restaurant <laughs> when the phone rang. So I had this gorgeous image of her just being completely overwhelmed with emotion, but she was just literally in a toilet at a restaurant as he was singing this love song down the phone. And I, I'm glad I didn't know that at the time because it was so moving when it happened in real life. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Rock out, man. Rock out. <laughs> We're back with James Corden. Um, these Gucci ads that you did uh, are so fantastic and so clever. It's Harry Styles, Diane Keaton, uh, who else? There's, a, there's a, a few people that did it. Aquafina, Serena Williams, Sienna Miller, Dakota Johnson. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was real fun. Whose idea fun was that? It. Yeah. It was um, Alessandro Di Michele, who's the, the real, the, the, you know, the fashion director at, at, at Gucci and he had this idea where he wanted to make a sort of mock talk show um, with all these guests called The Beloved Show. And yeah, I was just, I was overwhelmed to be asked to do it. I was, it was odd. I, I shot it at the same time as I was sort of becoming a, a, a partner with Weight Watchers, which is now known as WW. And I really thought at the time, I must be the only person doing a Gucci campaign and a WW campaign at the same time. <laughs> those two brands, those two brands don't normally cross paths. They don't. That's, uh, yeah, two Gs and two Ws. Yeah, it's, uh, you, don't, <laughs> you don't see that. Um, I have to say, you look great, speaking of, uh, of Weight Watchers or WW. Thanks. You, you've lost 25 pounds? 25 pounds down, yeah. Fantastic. It might be 23 after the weekend, but I'm, I'm still trying, yeah. Now, listen. I know, because uh, I've talked to you about this, that you hate exercising. You'll do anything to, cause most people don't like exercising. We started something here on the show where after rehearsal every single day, and there's not a lot of us here because of COVID, but the people who are here, the, the whole crew, we all get down on the floor and we do as many push-ups as we possibly can for as long as we can. It's been a very bonding thing. So, so we wow. want to challenge you and your crew next year to see who can do the most push-ups. Um, and are you up for that? Well, do I have to do it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that does change things. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think we'd be, I think we'd be up for that as a, as a, as a crew. I think we'd, we've got a, we've got some real fit guys here. We've got like, We've got two guys, Robin Gala and Terence, our photographer. I saw Terence with his shirt off once. He had his shirt off because he was getting changed into something we were doing on the show. And his body was so ripped. I looked at him, I thought, oh, my, oh, my only thought was technically we're the same species. <laughs> but I'll, I'll give it my best. I'll try a, I'll try a push up, sure. All yeah. right. Yeah, we'll do it next season, because uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll get it going and give it some time, and then we'll have a, I think it's a, it's a good challenge. It's a bonding thing. We really love doing it. We started doing it a while back, and we do it every day. Well, I'll be lighter by then, so hopefully I'll have done another 20 pounds, and then I'll just at least be able to do five. Yeah, all right, well, <laughs> it's a start. Um, we'll be back, more with James after this. We're back with James Corden. That was a clip from your new movie, Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway. So this is your second time playing Peter. Um, what happens this time? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an evolution from the, from the first one. Um, really, the, the heartbeat of the film is if you keep telling a child that they're naughty and they're bad and to stop, then at some point they just think that that's who they are. And that's really what happens to, to Peter in the film, really. He, he, uh, he takes some wrong turns, but, um, you know, it's a, the film is about love and, and family and how those things will always be the, the anchor in your life. And it's, it's really fun. It's really funny. If you enjoyed the first one, you'll definitely like this movie. Um, if you didn't like the first one, you should go and see it anyway and just see if you change your mind. Because <laughs> once you bought a ticket, it still works. Exactly. <laughs> I know from playing Dory that you have to record these extra noises, uh, like, if, you know, if you're, like, running or uh, being scared or something. Um, how yeah. is that for you? Well, they save it all until the very end. I don't know if that's what they did with yeah. you and Dory. So you spend about half an hour just going... Ow! Like that. And 
and um, it, it really does take it out of you after a while. Yeah. It does. And they could literally make you do anything. That's the crazy thing, the power that they've got. Yeah. They could just go, OK, now can you just pretend you're um, sitting down on a block of ice? And then I, I can feel them just going, <laughs> this isn't in the film, but it'll be fun to see them do it. Yeah. You know? What would that sound like, sitting on a block of ice? Do you know what? They said, that actually did happen to me. That's ah. a true thing. I went to an audition when I was 15, a casting for a, a Danish yogurt, yogurt, as you would say, and the director, completely true story, said to me, he was a very artsy guy, and he said, OK, James, what I want you to do is pretend you are no clothes. You are completely naked, OK? <laughs> and you are sitting down on a block of ice <laughs> but it must not be comical. And I look back on this day and I think, <laughs> why didn't I just go, you're not looking for me. I should be here, I'm gonna leave. Before you know it, I'm like in there going. <laughs> <sighs> and he's going, no, this is too comical. It needs to be very serious. And I'm like, what kind of yoga are you selling here? <laughs> but you know, these are the things you do. Oh my God, I never heard that story. That's hilarious. Oh, I, I love you. I miss you. I hope to see you soon. And I can't wait to see you soon. I really, I'm so happy to be here. And I hope I get to come back when, uh, before you stop. Yeah. Because we're going to miss you so much. We really are. I've loved every single time I've come over to the show. Every single time I've been there. I remember the first time. So I'll tell you this completely true. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. The first time I think our show had been on the air maybe five months, six months, and I got this email saying, Ellen wants you to come on the show. And honestly, I was like, oh, wow. Uh, that means I might have made it. Because that was all I ever used to think, was like, one day I'll get to be on that show, and uh, we're going to miss you so much, and, I, and I, I hope to come back and say a proper uh, goodbye, and I hope to have a drink with you in the meantime. Yes, you will. I love you. I love you so much. Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway, is in theaters in the U.S. on June 18th. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!